Hello, hi, so um, I'm just going to show you a technique that I've discovered on uh, on Excel. So let's dive in and go to the problem at hand. So this is an Excel spreadsheet. Obviously, um, I've zoomed out, but what I'm looking at here is I'm interested in all of this data here. Okay, all of this data, and there are about two and a half thousand cells in this data. If we go in a bit closer, we'll see that they're made up of lots of individual tables that need to be looked at. So there are gaps in between, and they're all quite similar. Okay, but basically, what these this is a uh, to do with blackjack strategy, and all of these zeros and ones and twos uh, tell my uh, card counting system what to do. So zero would mean um, that um, you would um, uh, stand, a one would mean that you would hit or play, and a two would mean that you would double. Okay, but they're all in this sort of you know, there's so many tables to look at because each of these numbers here depend on what the card count is the running count. Uh, so, anyone who does card count will understand this. So, for example, three, two, one. So, the significant numbers for the count are anything between minus two and five and between those numbers you have um, what are known as um, variances so you change your strategy depending on these numbers and other things so how to look at this all of this data multiple tables um, uh, without having to do loads and loads of repeat functions so if we go to my other sheet you'll notice this one here we've joined all this data together Okay, so it's now in one huge box. Okay, so how do we index and match this? Well, we give each um, of the sections a unique code. So this one here, across the top here, is X2, X3, X4, and so on. Um, now, it's, it's really boring to, um, to have to write these all out. You, they will not... Um, you can't stretch them out like you can with numbers. So one, one thing you can do to make it quicker, I'll just give you a quick demonstration. Is um, So let's do the X's. So obviously an X, like that. We just uh, do that. Our X's. The numbers we know will stretch out. So if we go 2, and 3, and then we just do this, which I don't want you to have to do. So, and then you're going to need to use this command again. You're going to use a function called concat. Okay, we just it's just going to join these together. Okay, like that. Okay, and if you want to uh, tidy it up so that it's a hard paste, you can just go copy. And then the shortcut for um, paste data is. Um, uh, paste values is um, alt h b b okay so that won't change it so that's the technique so across the top of all of this data i've got these um, codes all across there and then going down the same thing so now we are set up to do something called index match match okay now index match itself is quite simple so for example index match would be looking at these numbers um, and then just find out which code goes next to these numbers so it will just look look at this and this but index match match is gonna is effectively um, a bit like um, X lookup I hate X lookup I don't know how to use it but it, it allows you to look at all of this data okay so let's look at the numbers zoom in a little bit okay so So we work out using concat, we work out um, what the count is, which is going to be any of the numbers um, across the top. So X, Y, Z, A, B, C, that's the count. That gives us the X. Then what's the dealer's first card? In this case, it's a four. So we have X four, that's another concat. Then we do the next bit. So what type of hand is it? Uh, S is uh, splitting. Um, splitting what? Splitting aces. 
and okay, and sorts that code, that's S11. And then this is the important formula in here. And I'm using, um, what are they called? Uh, I'm using names, name ranges. Okay, it just makes it easy, especially between um, tabs. So yeah, so here's a formula. So index, and then extract map uh, data, that's the box in the middle. Then match the y-axis to um, this value. Then match the x-axis to this value, and here's my number. And that number is obviously uh, one, which means hit, which means split actually in this case because these are these are pairs. So it it's very powerful. So it's chosen a number from a total list of about two thousand four hundred possibilities, and it's chosen a single number that matches the strategy and the code. Uh, the card counting strategy uh, with its own um, uh, variances, which, for example, is things like the um, illustrious 18 uh, advanced strategy. So I just thought I'd share that with you. I hope that was useful to um, blackjack players and uh, Excel specialists alike. Um, this um, spreadsheet will be going up for sale um, when I've completed it, um, so watch this space. Um, just on that point, I'm hoping, and I made this may, may be more difficult than I realise, I'm going to do the full um, variables of dealer, hard 17, soft 17, and then all of these. So plain vanilla, re-split aces, double after split, both together, surrender, and then all the others. So that's eight possibilities with a hard and soft dealer. So that's the plan. Um, it'll be a few, at least a week, I should think, before I get there. But um, yeah, hope you enjoyed it. Thanks for listening.